Well, today is the final day of campaigning in Sierra Leone for Saturday's general election. So far, the U.S.-based Carter Center monitoring group that has been observing the campaigning says political party activities in the run-up to the vote have been peaceful. Sierra Leone police say there were only a few isolated cases of violence reported during the campaigning in the capital Freetown and the Bo and Kono districts. Uh, for more insight on tomorrow's elections, we are joined on the phone by uh, uh, VOA West Africa correspondent Anne Luke, who was uh, in Freetown. Hello, Anne. Hi, Vincent. How are you? I'm fine. Now, we know this is a country that came from a, a long civil war, and the last elections in 2007 were marred by violence. What is the mood in the country right now? Yeah, even despite this history of violence, you know, it's fairly calm here, you know, excited but calm. And I, I don't think that's an accident. You know, there's been a lot of work done on this election to keep it peaceful. Um, even the candidates themselves have been commended for really, you know, pushing a nonviolence message, urging people to, to campaign, you know, in an orderly fashion. The Electoral Commission set up a very strict um, campaigning rotation schedule to keep, to keep rival rallies from happening at the same time. You know, as you know, the two key parties in the country, uh, the two main parties, have a very fierce rivalry. Yes. And so, you know, there was a lot of work done to keep them from clashing, to keep supporters from clashing with each other. Now, and you know, during uh, these times in Africa, many times, people have the uh, fear of violence uh, during the campaigning, but also there is that fear of what happens after the elections. What are officials saying they've done to ensure that the, uh, the aftermath will be peaceful? Yeah, I mean, I think other than just reinforce security presence and really trying to put out the message that, you know, that results will be released, they're going to be released on kind of a regional basis, um, and then, you know, they can expect something early next week to have some more official provisional results. But other than that, I think it's just really relying on the candidates themselves and the political parties themselves to... To control their to control their supporters. Mm -hmm. You've uh, listened to some of the candidates campaigning. Uh, what do you hear they're saying? Uh, what, what, what are the messages they're giving to their supporters out there? Yeah, the the key issues seem to be you know obviously youth unemployment, which is a huge problem in Sierra Leone, um, the economy, um, infrastructure. A key a key topic has actually been education. Um, that's kind of been a key sparring point between the two between the two main parties, as well as corruption. You know, the current president is running for a second term, and kind of looking at his track record with corruption versus what some say, you know, has been perhaps inadequately attacking um, attacking corrupt officials and things like that. So, you know, kind of similar issues as we see across the continent. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, education and unemployment definitely seem to be important. And here we're talking about about uh, nine candidates. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, listening to them, uh, to what extent have you heard them say, well, whatever happens, whatever the outcome, uh, let's maintain peace, let's accept the results. Who, who was saying that to uh, the voters? Yeah, I mean, I think they're giving that message. But, for example, I was at the final campaign rally for the SLPP last night, and they're, they're the main opposition party. And, you know, they were talking about being peaceful and nonviolent. But the presidential candidate, when he spoke, uh, Julius Matabio, he also mentioned, too, that the SLPP, I mean, they're, they're still fairly bitter about having lost the 2007 presidential election. And so he mentioned, you know, certain language that could perhaps be a little bit concerning about how, you know, they won't let that happen again and they won't accept fraud again and things like that. So, you know, little, little, little things that are perhaps a bit concerning, but, you know, you can't really tell before things, before things actually happen. So. Okay. Uh, thanks a lot, Anne, for keeping us up to speed. Uh, now, VOA West Africa correspondent Anne Look uh, reporting there from Freetown.